It's hard to remember a time before apps like Lyft, Uber, and Airbnb. I mean, how did we get around? How did we rent places? <laughs> MapQuest, we printed it. I know. <laughs> uh, giving people the opportunity to lend their vehicles or their homes to people who needed a place to stay or a ride. Right. Kim DiGiulio live this morning with details on another app that has a similar business model, but obviously this is with renting out something altogether different. Kim? Yeah, guys, we're kind of in that sharing era, I would say. And this is an amazing opportunity for you to share your yard or other people can take advantage of it. So we have just arrived at this home here in Redford. Uh, and this is so my dog Chance here can play in the backyard. We've rented this yard out on this app called Sniff Spot. So I want to show you kind of what the app looks like. You can take a look at all the options for yards available in your community. And this is a great way to get your dog some exercise without having to worry about other dogs at a dog park. Oh, your dogs. Yeah, that was the whole reason I do this. Kristen Castelluccio bought this home in Redford for one reason. The backyard was perfect for her dogs. Once her dogs pass, she missed seeing dogs take advantage of this half acre of open space. But then she heard about Sniff Spot, where she could rent her yard out to other dogs, something her son Philip was excited about too. So the two of them started a business. And I said, oh, that would be great. I love seeing big dogs run around in the yard. That's what it was here for. And since I don't have the big dogs I used to, I might as well open it up and let some other people enjoy. Sniff Spot is an app that launched in 2017 out of Seattle. Now it's in every state with more and more host locations popping up in Metro Detroit. There's a lot of land around Detroit. So I'm hopeful we can continue to grow there for a long time. The beauty of Sniff Spot is it doesn't require much maintenance. Kristen leaves out some toys and water and tells people to use the yard like it's their own. The agility. Mm -hmm, that can be set up. You got a seating area over there so cool. you can see them in the back. People can come here, use your backyard. Anytime. And you don't even have to leave the house. No. You could be out getting groceries. I, I can be at work. Kristen charges $7 an hour per dog. She uses that money to keep up her yard and for supplies. It's not about the money for no, you. No. It's about the dog. It's about letting people come and have their dogs be dogs, sniff, run, and not be on a leash because walks are good, but it's something about just letting them run wild for a little bit. That was one of the most surprising findings for founder and CEO David Adams. I assume that people would sign up to make money, like they're doing, they're doing Uber or something else. What I found is that the reason hosts love Sniff Spot is they love helping dogs. Kristen tells me she's aware that not every dog can take advantage of dog parks. So she loves giving dogs a place to run free without worrying about the unknowns that come with a dog park. He's so happy. <laughs> Ready? That's what I love to hear. Kristen's experience with Sniff Spot has been a great one. She says even though she doesn't meet most of her guests, they respect her yard, which makes for an easy cleanup. Right there. Leave it as you found it. Is really the motto, right? But this is just such a fun opportunity for dog owners to get out and let their dogs Ooh, run. Go chances right there. Uh, but by the way, I mean, $8 an hour, really not that expensive. But uh, the CEO, David, says that people are really cashing in on this as well. So uh, definitely <laughs> a great money making opportunity as well. Chance, here's another one. Drop it, drop it, Chance, drop it, drop it. We're still working on drop it. Here, here. <laughs> Chance is in heaven Ready? right now. He loves it. I know, well, you know right? When you think about, I was just thinking about like people who live downtown where there's just so many high rise buildings mm -hmm. and no yards. Like this is a great opportunity. It's for people traveling too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Kim. Yeah. Uh, it, I, when I first really asked him this morning, I'm like, why would anybody want that? I don't have a pet, but I'm like, mm -hmm. she gave me all those reasons. And also for those dog parks, sometimes yeah. dogs and other dogs don't get along. Don't yeah, get yeah. along. So That's very true. Yeah. I, and I'm always amazed at how many people travel with their pets because right. uh, there's a hotel right across from local four and we'll see them out walking mm -hmm. in little patches. And I think, man, that's got to be tough when you're looking for a place right. on the yeah. go. Yeah.